Welcome to Chuck Builds. Today we are doing the Rage Against the Garage door opener on an LA 400 LiftMaster push arm gate. Um, this is going to be a little different than the other videos and that is because I have been working on this for some time now and it has been very finicky. So before we dive in, I want to kind of cover a few things of how this works and things you need to consider. The first and foremost is that on your Rage Against the Garage door opener, you must be using the MQTT software in order to be using dry contacts. The firmware version we're using is dry contacts. Um, that might seem a little strange and it should because this gate explicitly states that it is Security Plus 2.0 MyQ. Um, however, the inside of this gate does not operate like I think a lot of the MyQ garage doors operate in the sense that there's no wall button. There are obstruction sensors, but there are these like photo eye cell things that I don't have. And there's no pinouts for a very clear limit switch of open and closed. Due to this, there's kind of a strange way to control this device, and it's called the SBC, the single button control, right here in the top right. There are two terminals for a wire, and those wires we have coming down here to our Rage Against the Garage Door opener, and they connect to the red control to garage door is the positive, and then the white ground is the negative on the SBC. So the bottom one here is the positive terminal, the top one is the negative, don't know if it actually matters. Next up, a little bit of a twist. We do have a green wire here, but that is not where the green wire on this Rage Against the Garage door opener goes. That comes down here to the ground. There is a ground point here on the board that is wired around to a metal plate right here, and that's the ground. So what I did was I kind of pulled this sleeve back a little bit. There is a hole in the connecting plate for this little sleeve. I stuck my ground wire through the hole and then pushed the sleeve back over it so that it's in there pretty firm. So the strange point here is these connections that are all bundled together in one wire to go to the actuating arm. The brown, the white, and the yellow here all are seen in an internal teardown video of the limit switches inside of the opener. When you test these switches, if you don't notice, the wires are joined together in the same terminal. So you're gonna get different readings when you close those switches. And so I had initially thought that like white would be ground, uh, yellow would be open, brown would be closed. That didn't work. The red and blue here are the voltages to actually turn the motor and then one polarity is open and then you flip the polarity and it closes. The green is the RPM of the motor, according to someone on the Home Assistant forums. I'm sorry, I forgot your name off the top of my head. I'll put it in text over the screen on the forum where we were trying to figure this out. So that leaves the brown, white, and yellow as our switches to know if it's opened or closed. I have the brown hooked up here to this green and white wire just for ease of troubleshooting and diagnosing. It's not actually connected to the Rage Against the Garage opener. It's right down here in the corner, just bent back. So we're not using brown. We are, however, using the white wire here, plugged into the same ferrule to open. And then we have yellow to close, which is again, just pressed up inside of there um, and then tightened down. And then green again comes to this ground. And the way that you get these wires into here is you unplug it and then on the bottom side there's some screws and you'll just loosen it up a little bit shove the wire in there and then tighten it down and make sure that the wire is between the screw and the ferrule i think a lot of the issues i've been having with troubleshooting this and, and getting this figured out was loose connections because i would do the same thing multiple times and be getting different results right now i have it pretty tight and it seems to be working with just the whites and the yellow and so with all that hooked up to the Rage Against Garage door opener here, which is plugged into USB, I do have an extra buck converter to get to the batteries behind here um, for the 12 volt to three volts, but I might not do that just because I did have an extra wall plug right here and I can just plug in a USB port. I'll probably come back and do the buck converter just so it works off battery like the gate itself. 
But for right now, this is working. To close this up, I will just be taking this little excess wire, tucking it up in here, and then I've got the rat go tucked up. There's no moving parts, you still want anything to short out. Then you'll take your screwdriver and tighten down all four corners. Just as we wrap up this video, I thought I'd show you how to change what this gate looks like. Once it's in Home Assistant, you can click on it, click the little cog in the corner, and then show as, and you can change it from door, garage door, gate. Um, so here we'll choose gate, and it'll give us this little icon. And that way our status readouts are a little bit easier to read that you don't have to translate it from a garage door to a gate. If you want to learn more about this or the behind the scenes of how I got to this solution, I've tried to detail as much of it as I can on the Home Assistant forums. I'll have a link in the description, but you can see uh, my discovery phase of finding documents, taking the multimeter, seeing which wires did what. Um, hearing from some other people in the community, sharing uh, results from different wires and uh, other people's input. So if you want more of this or you want to learn more about other options on your board, this might be where to check. Check the uh, link in the description. And if you want to get actual download links to all the documents I referenced in that Home Assistant post, I also have an article on my website, my blog, uh, detailing in-depth what I did and some files you can download if you want the PDFs.